With student loan payments restarting after a three-year pause, borrowers and potential borrowers have new information and programs to take into consideration in regards to how to handle payments. Individuals that were making payments prior to the pause that were in a uh, income-based repayment or like pay as you earn, those type of things, uh, uh, those type of repayments are gonna automatically be put in a save, uh, in the save uh, repayment program, which is by far uh, the, the best opportunity that students have ever had in a sense that instead of it being um, the uh, payment being based off of 15% uh, of the discretionary income, it's actually gonna go down even further to maybe 10%. Although loan payments were paused due to widespread economic hardship, payments starting up while Americans experience high rates of inflation could prove to be strenuous. I spoke to someone who might be affected by these payments having to start repaying, I think it is, we are going to feel that, especially since uh, like inflation over the past year or so, like grocery, I mean, even grocery bills going up ridiculously, you know, it doesn't seem, doesn't seem like a lot of the individual pieces, but it all adds up. Communication with your servicer is vital. They would be the ones that could make exceptions. They would be the ones to grant you a temporary economic hardship uh, to say, lower your payments, you know, usually $50 a month is the, the lowest that it will go, but sometimes, you know, they may be able to, you know, make other exceptions, especially because they understand how, uh, you know, difficult it is uh, right now with, with the inflation. Even though loan restart might contribute to financial burden, newly implemented programs like the SAVE plan might aid in the strain borrowers face. For Foghorn News, I'm Nemo Reverone.